Have you ever pondered the mysteries of the open seas, where you might encounter a spectral ship from the past? Picture yourself adrift in the vast, dark ocean, when out of the mist, a ghostly vessel materializes, its ethereal crew peering back at you. What would you do? Welcome back to the Phantasmal Eternity Channel, your portal to the most chilling tales from around the world. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the haunting legends of ghost ship captains, stories so eerie, they'll make you question what's real and what's merely a sailor's tale. Brace yourselves for a spine-tingling exploration of the supernatural on the high seas. Ghost ships, the stuff of sailors' nightmares, have captivated and terrified seafarers for ages. From cursed vessels condemned to eternal voyages to phantom ships heralding doom, these tales have seized our imaginations like no other. In this video, we'll delve into the bone-chilling stories of six legendary ghost ship captains, including the infamous Flying Dutchman and the tragic Lady Lovibond. Brace yourself, for these spine-tingling tales are not for the faint of heart. But before we embark on this chilling journey, I invite you to engage with our community. Like this video, subscribe to the Phantasmal Eternity channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a tale from the darker side of history. And most importantly, share your favorite ghost ship stories and eerie encounters in the comments below. Now, let's set sail into the unknown and discover the haunting legends of ghost ship captains together. Our first tale is perhaps the most infamous ghost ship legend of all time, the Flying Dutchman. The story of the Flying Dutchman begins with Captain Hendrik van der Decken, a Dutch sea captain whose name has become synonymous with maritime mystery. In the early 17th century, van der Decken vowed to sail around the treacherous Cape of Good Hope, regardless of the relentless storm battering his ship. In a moment of defiance, he swore that he would complete his journey, even if it took him until Judgment Day. This blasphemous oath is said to have cursed van der Decken and his crew, condemning them to sail the seas for eternity. The Flying Dutchman, a spectral vessel that materializes out of thin air, its ethereal glow casting an otherworldly light. Sailors, throughout the ages, have recounted sightings of this ghost ship, emerging from the mist with its tattered sails billowing in the windless air. Its ghostly crew, silent and motionless, haunting the deck. One chilling account from 1881 tells of how Prince George of Wales, later King George V, witnessed the ghostly ship off the coast of Australia. The sighting was followed by the sudden and mysterious death of the lookout who first spotted it. Such eerie tales have only served to fuel the legend of the cursed captain and his doomed ship. Next, we journey to the coast of Kent, England, where the tragic tale of the Lady Lovibond unfolds. The Lady Lovibond was a schooner that set sail on February 13, 1748, under the command of Captain Simon Reed. The voyage was meant to be a joyous occasion, as Reed had brought his new bride along to celebrate their recent marriage. However, the ship's first mate, who was secretly in love with the captain's wife, was driven by jealousy and rage. In a fit of madness, he deliberately steered the ship into the treacherous Goodwin Sands, causing it to sink and killing everyone on board. Every 50 years, on the anniversary of the tragedy, the Lady Lovibond is said to reappear off the Kent coast. Witnesses have reported seeing the ship in full sail, with sounds of festive music and laughter echoing across the water. The most recent sighting was in 1998, where multiple eyewitnesses described the same chilling details. The spectral ship vanishes as mysteriously as it appears, leaving behind a sense of unease and sorrow. From England, we head to the waters near Chiloé, Chile, where the Calica sails under the command of Captain James West. Captain James West is a figure enshrined in Chilean folklore. According to the legend, West made a pact with the sea god Milalobo, granting him and his crew eternal life aboard the ghost ship Calica. This pact allows the Calica to appear suddenly and disappear just as quickly, always surrounded by an air of festivity and enchantment. Those who claim to have seen the Calica describe it as glowing with an unnatural light, its decks filled with ghostly figures dancing and celebrating. The ship is said to gather the spirits of those who have drowned at sea, providing them with an eternal home. Local folklore is rich with tales of fishermen who encounter the Calica, only to be left with a profound sense of wonder and fear. Now, let's explore the haunted legacy of one of history's most notorious pirates, Blackbeard and his ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge. Edward Teach, better known as Blackbeard, was a fearsome pirate whose name struck terror into the hearts of sailors in the early 18th century. 
His flagship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, was notorious for its role in his piratical exploits. After a fierce battle in 1718, Blackbeard's ship ran aground off the coast of North Carolina and was abandoned. Even after Blackbeard's death, tales of his ghost haunting the wreckage of the Queen Anne's Revenge have persisted. Divers exploring the site have reported eerie apparitions and unexplained lights surrounding the sunken ship. Nighttime sightings of a ghostly figure, believed to be Blackbeard himself, wandering the shore with a lantern, searching for his lost treasure, have been recounted by locals and visitors alike. Our next story takes us to the chilling waters where Captain Frederick Marriott encountered the ghost ship of the Great Eastern. Captain Frederick Marriott, a respected officer of the Royal Navy, recounted a spine-chilling encounter with the ghost ship of the Great Eastern. According to Marriott, while sailing near Nova Scotia, he saw a massive ship, fully rigged, appearing suddenly in the distance. Marriott described how the ghostly vessel, with no visible crew on deck, vanished as quickly as it had appeared, leaving an unsettling atmosphere in its wake. This encounter left a lasting impression on Marriott, who documented it in detail, adding to the rich lore of maritime ghost stories. Sailors have since reported similar sightings, each adding a new layer to the legend. Finally, we delve into one of the most chilling ghost ship tales, the frozen fate of the Octavius. In 1775, the whaling ship Harold made a gruesome discovery west of Greenland. The Octavius, an 18th-century vessel, was found drifting aimlessly. On board, the crew was frozen solid, including Captain Warrington, who was found seated at his desk, pen in hand, as if writing in his logbook. The story goes that the Octavius had been attempting the Northwest Passage and had been locked in ice for 13 years. The ghostly silence and bone-chilling cold that accompanied sightings of the Octavius added to its haunting mystique. The frozen crew, seemingly caught in their final moments, left an indelible mark on maritime lore. Today, we've journeyed through some of the most spine-chilling ghost ship tales in maritime history. We started with the eerie legend of the Flying Dutchman and its cursed captain, Hendrik van der Decken. Then, we ventured to the tragic story of the Lady Lovibond and Captain Simon Reed. From the spectral Kalaika and Captain James West, we moved to the haunted waters of Blackbeard's Queen Anne's Revenge. We also explored the unsettling encounter of Captain Frederick Marriott with the ghost ship of the Great Eastern, and finally, the frozen fate of the Octavius and Captain Warrington. These haunting legends remind us of our enduring fascination with the unknown and the mysteries of the sea. Ghost ships captivate our imaginations, blending history, folklore, and the supernatural. Their stories serve as an unending reminder of the perils and mysteries that lie beneath the ocean's surface. We'd love to hear your favorite ghost ship stories or any eerie encounters you've had. Share them with us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this voyage into the unknown, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more spine-tingling stories from the Phantasmal Eternity channel. Until next time, stay curious and stay spooky!